What is going down everybody? It is your boy Zary and before we get into the video I just want to remind everybody if you're under level 15 and you want $10 worth of free stuff go to your settings go to use promo code and type in XMG gifts. You do that you'll get $10 worth of free stuff it helps support the channel. So if you're under level 15 make sure you're using that promo code XMG gift. Enjoy the video. It's Zary and today we're going to talk a little bit about matchmaking, right? And I don't have the green screen up or anything like that. You can see my messy house behind me. And I was trying to do this video so many different ways. And it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. So I'm just going to talk. I think that's the best way to do it. So this is kind of like a podcast style. And I really want you to leave your feedback on this because it's the only way we're going to fix it. So like, like you know, you clicked on, we're going to talk a little bit about matchmaking. And, you know, it, it's early morning and kind of getting ready for work. As the sun's just starting to come up, we're supposed to get dumped on with snow here. So that should be fun. <clears throat> but anyways, it... it if you're going to look for this video for me just to completely bash play Quantum and the Dragon Champions team, this isn't the video for you. That's not what I'm going to do. That's not the intention of this video. This, this dev team does a really, really good job of listening to our concerns and taking our feedback and running with it. And I was always raised that if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And maybe people aren't aware of kind of what's going on in matchmaking. I have had multiple people message me about this. And myself personally, I've never dealt with it. I mean, I've had a couple bad matches here and there. Most of the time, I just I don't have time to go and do it. So like last night, completely forgot my attack phase. So, and from the looks of it, I probably wouldn't have won anyways, but completely forgot about it. And, you know, so I, I can only speak from what people are kind of telling me. And I'm expecting to get bad matches here and there because it it's going to happen. It's not a, It can never be just a perfect system, right? just can't be. But there's some issues going on. And the first one that was brought to my attention is account stalling and what that essentially is is people are not completing their dailies and just really slowly leveling up their account because once you hit level 80 matchmaking is just like oh you're level 80 now you get put with all the other level 80s so people who just freshly hit level 80 now their tournaments are in with people who have been 80s for a year and I see my dog in the background she's having a good time but you that that's a big big problem and I think that's where it needs to start because people are account stalling to so they don't have to face that so they can build up their roster a little bit but what that's doing is essentially what they're trying to avoid. They're doing to everybody below it. Because now you're putting the level 70s who just maybe got Soleus and working towards more Doom or their next Legendary are going up against an account stacked with Legendaries and stacked with 7 Star Shadars and all sorts of craziness. Now, do I fault those people? No, it's their it's their choice. There's nothing in the rules that say they can't do that, right? They're, they're taking that system and using it to their advantage. Do I agree with it? No, I mean, that's not the purpose of the game. But they're not cheating. They're not doing anything essentially wrong, right? And what I feel about it, I guess, doesn't really matter. But I would like to hear from some of those people who maybe do that as... I'm getting some awful glare. Still getting glare, but whatever. Um, why they do it, I guess. 
Because, I mean, to me, that's not the point of the game. Yeah, it sucks. You go in and you get wiped and you're not as competitive in some tournaments and stuff for a while, but that's part of the game. And like I said, you're essentially doing what you're trying to avoid to everybody below you. So, I don't know. So there, there's one issue, right? How, how do we fix that? How, how do we... How do we fix that? I mean, one of the ways I, I possibly could see is the, the new breakdown in Battlegrounds by power. Maybe they should do that for tournaments as well. Maybe that that that's an option. So you're grouped closer with your player power other than levels. That That could be a possible way. I really think that could be something that could benefit people. Right? Because if they broke it down like that... Alright, well, I had to cut that because the Amazon guy came up, so we we're all going to die this morning. So, but if, Like I was saying, you know, my battleground groups haven't been horrendous. I've had good matchmaking for the most part in my battlegrounds, so maybe that's how they, they do it in tournaments. Um, I, the, the matchmaking system is never really... 100% no matter how you do it I get it and I stated that before but I really am interested to see feedback from you and see what you think about matchmaking has it been good should it be changed you know I I generally if I went hard I could probably get like top 20 in tournaments I don't think I'd ever hit one because I just don't have the time to do it right so I, I just I want your your feedback on this because I know Lizard Breath watches these videos. I know she comments on them, so this is a good chance to get our voice heard or your voice heard about this. So this this whole account stalling thing really kind of has me kind of baffled because I don't understand why people would want to do that. They they get less rewards. I get it. So maybe when you hit eighty, you can be more competitive in that bracket, but. Obviously, there needs to be some different matchmaking made for that, for when you get to that level. And I tried to, like, show it, and it just I couldn't find pictures. I don't know. I thought maybe this would be just a little bit of a better way to do it and to talk about it. You know, I've had a couple people send me pictures of their top person in tournaments, level 77. They have a 7-star Shadar, all the legendaries maxed out. Right? That's, that, that's crazy to me. So obviously, matchmaking skewed, right? So I, I think the, the, the way to do it is to break it down like they did with Battlegrounds. But for me, that system's worked out well. I don't know how it's worked out for everybody else out there. So I just wanted to take a couple minutes of your time and talk about matchmaking. And maybe I didn't convey everything but i don't know how to do it because i personally have not seen the problem with it right so it's hard but i wanted to give the opportunity for people to voice their concerns so that the devs could read it and like i said this isn't to bash them so anybody who comes in and just starts completely bashing them their comment will be deleted this isn't the point of that this is for general discussion and making the game better that's the way it should be let's talk about it be civilized human beings and move on i'm not bashing the people who account style i'm not bashing anyone in this video and that's my approach because if i had a problem with what you're doing in general then i'm gonna let you know personally i would tell you so I think matchmaking needs to be broke down into maybe 100, like 10,000 increments until we reach 100,000, possibly. But I don't know how much how much that like puts on the server. Is it server overload at that point? Like I don't know all this stuff, so that's why it's hard for me to kind of make a video on it. But I don't know what time is it. I got to get ready for work pretty soon. A couple minutes, but um. 
use this platform to voice your concerns about matchmaking and put ideas how you feel it could change like i said my idea is let's as soon as you hit 80 you shouldn't just be thrown with all the other 80s and i know a lot of games do it that way but if they're putting so much competitive nature on matchmaking and the group you're put in because i mean the difference between getting first place and 50th for somebody is really really big and if you don't get there like me because i don't have time that's one thing but if you can't get there because somebody has a more doom buff thalane combination at level 77 that could be a problem you know and there's always those rare occasions where people aren't doing that and they've just maximized everything or they're whales and krakens and you're always going to have some of those people understandable so keep that in mind when you're thinking about this but again if if you're i mean getting a seven star shadar in your 77 that that that's hard to do no matter how much you spend in this game but it can be done and again those people aren't breaking any rules they're not doing anything like that so don't bash them this isn't a place to argue i told you my feature and i'm kind of rambling now so and i have to get ready for work so leave your ideas i'm going to be checking out the comments i always do so just kind of a let's talk it out kind of thing and me talking to a screen for 11 minutes so yeah that's what i got for everybody today i love y'all be constructive be positive see y'all in the next let's change this for the good i'm out